right. Hi guys, welcome back to Drive London. I'm Rohit, this is Louis. Uh, we're about to do a mock test, we're in a manual car. Louis came to us as a complete beginner and um, he's actually Harry's brother who has the most amount of views uh, for the mock test on our channel. He has I think 1.5 million almost now. Um, and we're hoping to top that if possible. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, so this is uh, Louis's third mock test or fourth mock test? Third, I think. Yeah, third yeah. mock test, yeah. So, um, and it's his last lesson and his last mock test that we're going to be doing before he actually goes in for his test on Monday, which is in a couple of days' time. Um, how many hours again have you done? Uh, probably around 30 something. Okay, so around 30 something hours, yeah. And he's definitely got a good drive. The last couple of mock tests he has failed. I don't think, uh, have we had a past one yet? No, not yet. No, okay, we're hoping this one's going to be a past, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, but if not, we'll just work on the mistakes and just take from there and hopefully you pass your, your, your actual test. But like I said, you have got a good drive. I don't see why you shouldn't be passing, okay? I'm going to explain how the test works and then we'll get started, okay? So it's going to last for 40 minutes. During those 40 minutes, we're going to keep from the road ahead and that's ask you to turn left or right. There'll be one manoeuvre, possibly the emergency stop, one show me and one tell me question, and there will be 20 minutes of independent driving where you'd be following the sat nav for today, okay? But I'm actually going to get you to follow the sat nav for the whole dur uh, duration of the 40 minutes, um, but in your test, it will only be 20 minutes, yeah. okay? For you guys, whenever he makes any mistakes, any serious or dangerous mistakes, will be in red at the top here. Any minor mistakes, uh, anything advisory, will be in amber. Anything he does well, in green. Okay? Ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's start with that tell me question. Could you tell me how you would check to see if your um, headlights and taillights are working? Um, well, firstly, you'd turn the ignition on. Um, you'd secure the car and you'd turn the switch for the headlights on. And then you'd get out and check front and back see if they're working thank you okay so i've set up the sat nav um i'm going to give you first direction i'm going to go down to the end at the roundabout we're going to turn right yeah. and then follow the sat nav thereafter okay yeah. you can start whenever you're ready safe to do so I like us to pull over and park after in a safe place. 200 yards go left on the roundabout first exit then bear right thank you and drive on one of you ready
left on the roundabout, first exit, then bear right.
turn right at the track next instead. Yeah, so just follow my directions for now. I'm going to turn right. Go left. 
left on the roundabout, first exit, then take the second right. Turn right. Okay, thank you. And now I'd like you to reverse back two car lengths, keep them reasonably close to the curb. Okay, thank you. We're going to rejoin the road.
after 200 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. the roundabout, second exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. things now
cross the roundabout, first exit. Cross the roundabout, first exit. Pull over and park just after that. Uh, no left turn sign, please. You're going to have to get out of the curb. After 80 yards, turn right. Then go left on the roundabout. Okay, thank you. And that brings us to the end of our test. If I get you to secure the car, turn off the engine for me, please, and just give me a moment. Okay, how do you reckon you've done? Uh, I reckon I could have failed on that one junction where all the cars were. Where I told you to go? Yeah. Yeah, there was a bit of undue hesitation there now. Okay. Um, when we initially came up to that junction, did you see that really big gap? There's a bit, there's a big enough gap for us to go. Oh, I didn't see it. No, okay, so we missed that one gap there, and then there was another gap coming up. Now, someone's crossing on the right, which basically is going to slow down the traffic on your right, plus those people on the left are going to have to slow down for that, for that, uh, for that woman as well. Plus, there was a big vehicle, and he was in a meeting situation on the left, which is also meaning that he's going to be slow down. That gives you a chance to get in, in, into, the, into the road. And then there was a queue of traffic behind us as well, and we're just holding everyone up by not entering in. So yes, unfortunately, you would have got a serious fault for that. Okay. Was there any other serious mistakes that you recall on? Uh, no. No. Okay. So unfortunately, we got three serious mistakes. 
and that would be a, a, a fail on the test. So you know one of them, which was the undue hesitation. Um, another one was for the other uh, response to other road users. Do you remember coming up to, we're in a meeting situation where there's a big uh, Tesco van that's holding back for us. So we're going through this little tight little gap and there's a woman parked up on the left in a gold car or brownish car. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I had to reach in for my, for my brakes there. I don't know if you noticed, by the slight reaching in for my brakes, I actually touched the brakes slightly, but you did eventually get there, but I felt like we shouldn't even got to that to that car that close. She's trying to manoeuvre, she's concentrating on the, her left side, she's not even aware of what's happening on her right. And we're still entering in, and by the time you stopped, it was so late, if she didn't turn around at that last second, she would have kept swinging out, and we, she would have most likely hit our left corner there. So we just kind of squeeze through that a bit too early. So I know you're dealing with the meeting situation, but also take a look to your left. Is it safe for me to come back here? At that moment in time, she's doing a weird maneuver there. I would just slow it down, kind of just make sure she's seeing you. Look at the driver, see if they're looking at you. If they're, if they're not, if they're maneuvering around, I would just be a bit more cautious going through that really tight gap. Yeah. Because you had no space on the right to move over because of the big Tesco van as well. Yeah. Okay. So I gave you a serious mistake for response to uh, other road users. And the last one was uh, use of mirrors before change of direction. Same kind of scenario. We're after um, we're going towards like the Hounslow High Street kind of area, the the back roads of there. Um, and there's a car park on the left, and a woman's pulled out, and then she reversed back in for us. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So she was halfway in in the road. Then she saw us coming down the road. She started reversing back. You kind of swerved a little bit to the right. And there's a black Mercedes on the right, which we slowed down. There's two lanes there. Yeah. I thought I stopped for it, but... Stop for... I thought I saw, I saw the Mercedes and then slowed down, so it would pass. Well, I slowed down, so then saw the Mercedes slow down and then went in front. We didn't change lanes at that point. No. So, I'm not talking about changing lanes. That was somewhere else, I think you're talking about. Um, this is literally just at that situation. There's a black car. I don't know if you're talking about the same situation, but we didn't move in front of him. You kind of, you, you, you saw a hazard on your left, you kind of went over to your right, and then you checked your mirrors, and he slowed down in that time, and then you kind of moved back. Uh, but we didn't actually switch lanes, because that was a turn that you're supposed to do, and you missed that turn, and then we went further up and made the right turn. Yeah. Okay, but I just felt like, before you actually moved your position, you, you, you did know there was a car there afterwards, but you moved your position beforehand which made it a serious fault for use of mirrors before change di uh, change of direction. Yeah. You've got to remember there's multiple lanes there. And it's uh, it's not just you, a lot of people fell there around that section there where there's two lanes. So first it starts off as one lane and it splits into two and you go around this left bend uh, where people tend to drift over to the right. You were drifting ever so slightly, but not enough for me to mark down as anything. Um, but you dealt with that section fi fine. Afterwards, we got to the set of track lights, the lights went green. And that's when the woman was in front of us, um, and then she reversed back in. And then you kind of maneuvered slightly over to your right without checking mirrors, slowed down the vehicle next to us on the right, yeah, and, and then we continued on. But it's tricky there, but you need to be keeping on top of what's happening on the right, what's happening with the, the, the car parks and so on. Okay? Yeah. But yes, you would have got those three serious mistakes. Do you understand them? Yeah. Okay? Um, Let's talk about the undue hesitation where you're getting the most amount of minors. So you got four, uh, three minors for undue hesitation. So one of them was um, we came up to a there was a roundabout where you had to do a right turn and then a left turn, and then you did the right turn quite well. And then when you when you had to turn left at the second roundabout, you just stopped, and there's no one coming from the right. Yeah, we should be looking. I know there's a lot to take in there at that point, but keep the car slow, and if it is clear keep it moving. There's another car behind us that was traveling at some speed and they can see it's clear. They don't expect you to be stopping because roundabouts are trying not to stop unless someone's coming from a right. Yeah. Okay? But if you need a bit more time, keep it slower. Give yourself time to look. But I mean, it's not a serious mistake to stop, but it can lead to accidents. Hence why I marked it down as a minor yeah. driving fault. Okay. Um, another time we came up to a right turn. This is near the start. We had to turn right, we're going around this bend, and I said, the, the sign up said bear right, and I said, we're going to be turning right. Uh, you came up to the turn, you dropped down to first gear, and you could have just done the turn in second gear. Such a wide road, it's nice and clear, you see it's clear up ahead, we're dropping down to first gear, going a bit too slow, and then making the turn. Um, and then, 
after that, you know, with the situation with the car, where you got the serious mistake, we came to a junction and there's a car that's turning in left. The bus is not moving, so it should be an indicator to you. The bus could either be turning left <coughs> or he's waiting there to let us out. And there was another purple car on the left that was waiting for us. And we're just sitting there. And it took a while for you to get moving. To yeah. the point I think someone beat to us as well. Yeah. Um, so again, you should pick this up. Okay, why is everyone stopped? Okay, this guy's turning in a bit quicker and taking it in. It took a little while to move off. Like I said, I just marked that down as a minor fault. Had you waited even longer, it could become a serious fault. Don't want yeah. the examiner telling you to go that way. Okay. I'm not saying to rush the junctions, um, but you have got a bit of under your head station, which is welcome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's talk about your other minor mistakes. In total, you got 10 uh, minor mistakes. With the pulling over and parking on the right and reversing back two car lengths, with the observations, your observations are really good. You're looking out for everyone, you're just picking up everyone. The problem is that you're seeing the vehicles and they're so far away and you're still stopping and waiting for them. I don't even want to wait for them if they're like two car spaces away from us, if they're in a danger zone. Okay, you're waiting for them when they're like four, five, six car spaces away. By the time they get past us, another car's in the distance and you're waiting for that car. We're making no progress at this point. You're just going to be doing this maneuver forever then. Yeah. Yeah, not forever, but you understand. Yeah, okay, so try to make progress where possible. Now, it's good that you're picking up the cars are there. Wait until they get a little bit closer before you have to stop for them. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, control of your steering. At one point, we did a left turn somewhere. We went a bit wide. You could have kept it a little bit tidier. Uh, moving off with control, uh, we moved off in third gear and ended up stalling the vehicle. Now, you never actually stalled the car usually. We've done that twice today. So yeah. one before we actually did the mock test and um, again in the mock test. So it's something you need to take a look at. You either, I don't know how you got into third gear. I'm not sure if you stopped and selected the wrong gear or if you were already in third gear and just forgot to put it into first gear. But just, yeah, keep on top of that. Yeah. But this time you recovered better than what you did earlier. Yeah. Okay. Um, response to road markings, we on a dual carriageway, um, where the sat nav said take the at uh, the traffic lights to turn right. There was these hatch markings on the floor, um, uh, and so it was two lanes to begin with. You had the hatch markings, and then it becomes like three lanes. You went over the hatch markings to get into that third lane on the right. Now the hatch markings are a broken lane, which means we can go into it if necessary. I feel like at that point it wasn't necessary. You could have avoided it until a little bit later and then move over to your right. The only time I would go into there is if there was queues of traffic in the other lanes where you, you're going to be queuing there for no reason. That's when I would go over the hatch markings. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Normal stops, this parking here is still crooked. The back's sticking out more than the front. Look in your right, uh, your left mirror there. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. The back's sticking out quite a bit there. You try to fix it, it was worse than this, but you try to fix it at the end, but you still not fixed it enough. So what you had to do was just go a little bit more forward to that and then pull over to your right a bit more. Yeah. Yeah? Do you understand the mistakes? Yeah. Yeah? Now, you have got a good drive. Now, this area was difficult. I mean, it was quite busy as well there. So you, had, you got kind of caught out with the other people um, doing weird stuff and we're having to adjust. But you just got to remember, you got to do it safely. Okay? Um, so use the mirrors, making sure it is safe. Don't move your position. If someone's coming out, the best thing to do always is to slow down unless you've checked your mirrors and it is safe to move over, then move over. Okay? Yeah. Uh, the other road users, again, just being careful in those situations, especially with people parking. A lot of people don't do it the test standard way where you should be observing for other people. People just kind of expect other people to stop for them, which is the wrong way of doing it. Um, and that's a, cl a clear example where that woman is basically just doing a maneuver and expecting traffic to just basically stop for her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just try to catch eye contact with the drivers, making sure you're seeing them. And we say this to you as well when you're doing your maneuvers and you want someone to overtake or you see someone, we say look at the driver so they, they acknowledge that you've seen them. Because when they, you've, you've catched eye contact, you both know you've seen each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the undue hesitation was something that we're going to look at now as well before we finish. Yeah. Okay. You can still do this, okay? Um, I know we haven't passed any of the, the mock tests, but you can still do this. And I feel like it's good to get these mistakes out now so they don't actually happen in the actual exam. Yeah. Okay? Good. Still feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, best of luck. And we'll let you guys know if uh, Louis passes or not. And we'll see you guys in the next mock test.